So here I'm told that y is inversely proportional to d squared when d is equal to 10 and y is equal to 4. I'm then told that d is directly proportional to x squared when x equals 2, d equals 24. And I'm asked to find a formula for y in terms of x, so linking these two equations together, and I'm asked to give my answer in its simplest form. So to start here, I'm just going to go back and write out and set up these equations and these proportional relationships just so I can see exactly what's happening here. So if y is inversely proportional to d squared, then y is going to be proportional to 1 over d squared. And I can rewrite this as y is going to be equal to some constant multiplied by 1 over d squared. And that just leaves me with y is equal to k over d squared. So that's going to be an equation for this first sort of relationship that we have here. And then the second one, d is directly proportional to x squared. So d is directly proportional to x squared. And I can rewrite that as d is going to be equal to some other constant, which I'm going to call capital K this time. And that's going to be multiplied by x squared. These two constants are going to be different. So this lowercase k and the capital K are both constants in this sense, but they're going to be different constants because we're working with different equations. Now, if I'm asked to find a formula for y in terms of x, I'm somehow going to have to link these two equations. So y is equal to k over d squared and d is equal to k, capital K, lots of x squared. Now, I can see that I have a d squared in the denominator here and a d here. So if I can work out this constant and this constant, I'm going to be able to find an equation where y is equal to something over d squared and d squared is going to be in terms of x. So if I take my first equation, so I have y is equal to k over d squared. Now if I take the values that I'm given here, so when d is 10, y is 4, and substitute them in, so y is 4 is equal to k over d which is 10 squared. And then I can multiply both sides by 10 squared, which is 100. And that's going to leave me with k is equal to 4 times 100. So k in this sense is going to be 400. And I can rewrite this equation. So therefore y is going to be equal to what we've just found out k to be, which is 400, divided by d squared, which is still an unknown. Now, if I work out what d is going to be using the second equation, I can then substitute this back in and leave me with an equation simply in terms of y and x. So if I do the same thing here, d is equal to k, capital K this time, x squared, and substitute the values I'm given in. So this time I'm working with these values. So d is 24 and x is 2. So 24 is equal to capital K, lots of 2 squared. So k is going to be equal to 24 divided by 2 squared, which is 4. So this constant is going to be 24 divided by 4, so 6. And yet again, I can write that out. So I'm going to have d is equal to 6x squared. Now I've got these two equations here, y is equal to 400 over d, d squared, and d is equal to 6x squared. And I can simply substitute this, this equation for d into this d squared, and it will leave me with an equation in terms of y and x, which is what I'm looking for. So if I take my y being equal to 400 over d squared, and that's going to be equal to 400 over d, which I've calculated to be 6x squared, and that's all going to be squared. That's going to give me 400 over 6 multiplied by 6, which is 36, and then x squared raised to the power of 2. So we're going to multiply the power of 2 by 2 to give me x to the power of 4. Now, this is an expression for y in terms of x. However, it's not in its simplest form, like the question required. 436 share common factors. They share a factor of 4. 
So if I divide this fraction by 4 over 4, which is just the same as multiplying it by 1, which doesn't change its value, and simplify this fraction, it's going to take me to 100 over 9x to the 4. And then that's going to be this formula for y in terms of x in its simplest form. So then I can just write out y is going to be equal to 100 over 9x to the power of 4 as my final answer here. Now as for how each of the marks were awarded here, if I go back to the start of the question, I gained a mark for setting up each of the equations. So for the first and the second equation that I set up, which is working with the proportional relationship, I gained a mark for each of those. I then went on to gain another mark for finding one of the constants of proportionality, so either lowercase or uppercase k in this sense. And then the penultimate mark, so the fourth out of the fifth mark, was for basically using a process to find y in terms of x. So here I used, I substituted in the value of d being equal to 6x squared. And then the final mark is going to be for the correct final answer of 100 over 9x to the power of 4. And that's how each of the five marks in this question would be awarded.